Hello, we are from AbOVO, and we have developed an advanced planning system in Quintic. Today I will show you how Quintic can help row row terminals plan their vessels and determine the best available yard block to unload cars to. Row row terminals have specific regulations regarding berth lengths, tide restrictions, possibilities for allocation of cars in the yard, and many other regulations specifically regarding the workforce. The overall functionality of this type of terminal is as follows. First, a vessel is scheduled to arrive and needs to be berthed. Large vessels cannot be berthed nor unloaded during low tides, and a larger crew is needed to unload large vessels during high tides. When a vessel is at port, the cargo needs to be unloaded, and this means allocating cars to specific locations within the yard. Each yard block can house a specific set of cars. Some yard blocks can store any model and or brand, while others have restrictions. Once all the cars are assigned to the yard, the next step would be to assign the crew that will drive specific cars to specific yard blocks. There is a diverse set of personnel assigned to row row terminals, everyone with a unique set of skills. Different tasks require different skills, and the workforce demand depends upon the number of cars needed to unload and the time required. In general, the tighter the schedule, the larger the crew. Now, let's take a look at what Quintic row row terminal planning is all about. The first view is called birth planning. As you can see, there are various forms contained in this view. At the top of the screen, we can see the key performance indicators, or KPIs. The KPIs give feedback to the planner regarding the status and strength of the current plan. They are great reference for the planner. Directly below the KPIs, we can see the vessels that are scheduled to arrive to the port and information regarding each vessel is available. If the planner needs other information, he or she can select other columns to be displayed as needed. When we click on one of the vessels, we can see the orders it contains with the brand name, the model, the destination, and the number of cars to be unloaded for that order. Directly below that, we can see the berth overview. There are two berths with different lengths in the y-axis, and the date and time can be seen on the x-axis, with low tides displayed in a light blue color. We can manually assign a vessel to a berth, by dragging and dropping through plan birth assignment. This will give the feedback for the best location in the birth. As we want to make the planner's life e easier, there is an option to automatically plan all vessels to births. If a large vessel needs to be edited because of a low tide, the program will automatically assign the best available time and accommodate the larger demand of people needed to unload the vessel. Vessels marked in a dark green color have had their original time of departure modified. Once we have all the vessels berthed, we must assign all of the cars to the yard. This is when we go to the view called Yard Planning. In this view, we have a new set of KPIs, but the vessel visits and orders remain. The only difference now is that we can see how many cars need to be unloaded in the blue bar and how many are still unassigned in the red bar. When we select an order, the possible yard blocks to which it can be assigned are highlighted. Also, the planner can see the possible yard blocks with the distance from the corresponding berth and the free space right next to the vessel orders. Priority corresponds to how related the order is to the corresponding planning. A priority of 1 will mean the yard block is specifically designed for that model, and a priority of 9 will correspond to the yard blocks that can facilitate any type of vehicle. The planner can manually assign the order to a yard block by dragging and dropping or by pressing the Plan Stockyard button. Free spots in the yard block are shown in green. Spots in use before planning has started are displayed in black, and the newly assigned cars can be seen in blue. Information regarding each yard block is available under a tooltip and also in a form right next to the bird's eye view of the yard. 
As a reminder, we want to make the planner's life easier, and that is why we have created an algorithm that will assign each order to the best possible location within the yard. The next step in the planning is to assign the crew. Now we will visit the workforce planning view. Here we have KPIs that correspond to the workforce. A list with all the possible workers and the demand for each skill. The crew includes drivers, foremen, and tallymen. We can manually create a shift for a person to meet the demand of the corresponding day. However, planning each worker individually to meet the demand can be an arduous task. So this is why we have created another algorithm that will assign each worker to a specific shift to meet the corresponding demand while also meeting union regulations. We can now see how the cost decreased from the initial costs. The demand turned from red unmet to green met. Also, the schedule for each worker is available in a Gantt chart with tool tips that include information regarding each shift. As one can see, this solution shows how Quintic can help a company optimally plan vessels to berths, cars to the yard, and this corresponding workforce need while treating, keeping check of the schedules and meeting terminal regulations. Thank you for your time and happy planning.